Andrew Hickenlooper, the general, Civil War hero, innovative and successful businessman, lieutenant governor, and author. Andrew Hickenlooper, nicknamed the general, lived a life that has changed history and has held a tremendous impact on everyday life. He was the second youngest general in the Army, second only to Custer. He was a decorated Civil War hero, a pioneer in electricity and gas technology, author of three books, and lieutenant governor of the state of Ohio. Hickenlooper's been a name that's been around Cincinnati since uh, about 1840 when uh, Andrew and his parents moved down here from Hudson. Andrew was born in Hudson, Ohio in 1837. He attended Woodward College and Xavier College and at 19 entered the office of A.W. Gilbert, the then surveyor of the city of Cincinnati. At 22, he was appointed to the surveyor's position. When the Civil War broke out, only two years later, he volunteered for the Union Army. Andrew was uh, a uh, force around town. Uh, his son, my grandfather Smith, was uh, a federal was a politician and then a federal judge. Uh, my father was a, was with Procter and Gamble and was involved in uh, in civic work and all of that sort of cascaded down on the succeeding generations. And, instilled in us a, a sense of, uh, of community and a sense of, uh, of giving, giving back. Andrew was only 24 when he was commissioned as an officer. He was given tremendous responsibility and recruited what was known as Hickenlooper's Battery or the 5th Ohio Independent Battery. His battery joined forces with Major General John Fremont at Jefferson City, Missouri. One is a, is a sense of, uh, of duty uh, to country, to, uh, to the city. Uh, the other is an entrepreneurial spirit that uh, the, the general took to everything that he did. He served as an engineer through the Atlanta campaign and was awarded distinguished honor. His battery also fought in Sherman's March to the Sea, advancing through the Carolinas. His endorsement for Brigadier General was supported by Generals William Sherman, Oliver O. Howard, and Ulysses S. Grant. He was named Brevet Brigadier General on May 20th, 1865. He founded Cincinnati Gas and Electric Company out of all of the myriad of small utilities around Cincinnati. And through, through that, he was able to very rapidly uh, spread the both gas and electric utilities throughout Cincinnati and greater Cincinnati and really brought the industrial age to the Cincinnati region and really added to the prosperity that all of us still feel today because of the industry and, and commerce, commercial aspects that electricity brought uh, and still bring today. Andrew used his considerable business skills and local influence to bring together the many competing gas and light companies into one public utility. The company he founded was responsible for the rapid installation of service throughout Greater Cincinnati, leading to the rapid growth of industry and commerce in the region, adding to the great prosperity the city enjoyed starting late in the century and continuing on today. The Civil War's Heroes Life ended in Cincinnati in 1904, and in 1912, a statue was erected in Vicksburg National Military Park in his honor. We're here at 838 Dayton Street, Cincinnati, Ohio. This is actually the Hickenlooper House, named for General Andrew Hickenlooper, who is my and Jeff's great-great-grandfather. In the latter part of the uh, 1800s and the early 1900s, this was an area called Millionaire's Row. Um, a lot of the predominant business leaders and civic leaders in Cincinnati at that time lived right here, not just in the area, but in this block. He is being honored today, 108 years after his death, for his heroism, his many accomplishments, his public service, and his contributions to the electricity industry. It was that entrepreneurial spirit that led him to found uh, Cincinnati Gas and Electric, and it, uh, it's driven succeeding generations, um, people who it, in generations succeeding who have wanted to build on more than just the basic building blocks. Uh, Cincinnati's been very good to all of us and we feel uh, very comfortable in the, in the sense of giving back.